Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Rehab Addict Tuesday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, yeah, we're doing the Bedlington Boathouse in Brindleton Bay. Sorry, my daughter is on the bed with me and she's misbehaving, like always. There might be sections in this video where I could have cut it out, but it's not that long, so you guys are just going to have to bear with me because I'm trying to do videos while my daughter is up. But, yeah. Um, she has a tag right now. Whatever. Like a paper tag. She can eat it if she wants. It won't kill her. Also, I am on my bed. Um, this layout for upstairs was kind of hard, and I have, I think I deleted it a couple times and went back to it. It, I was just struggling so hard with it. Oh, and now she kicked me in the head. Knock it off. Behave. I said you had to be nice if you want to be on the bed with me. Um, right here you can see me struggling with that room not having a ceiling to it. And then I struggled very hard roofing this house. It was just a weird layout from the get-go. And yeah, I was just, I don't know, having issues. But yeah, I, I wanted to um, do this video because I've had it in my stash for a while. I'm just now getting around to editing it and doing the vo voiceover and everything. Will you stop? Over here. Sorry if you heard me moving around and my daughter. She's being obnoxious. That's a good word for her. But yeah, um... Today is May 29th when I am recording this voiceover. So this will go up on. It'll go up on next Tuesday. I don't know what day that will be because my daughter has my phone. Let me see if I can get it from her. Oh, I got it from her. I'll give it back to you in a minute. Let me check what date Tuesday is. The 4th. This will be going up on the 4th. Because once I get done with this voiceover, I'm going to go ahead and pre-upload it to YouTube. So, all I have to do is schedule it and everything, and we'll be good. But I do have to go into game and take a picture and do the thumbnail. So, that'll be fun. Right here you can see me. I tried to put the, um, the chimney on the other side, but I decided I didn't want that there. So I just put it here. And then I'm going around doing all the stone on the houses. I don't like houses that have siding. Well, it's not that I don't like them. It's just not my flavor. <laughs> it's not my flavor of house. Um, yeah. Now I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more fancy box box ish i cannot talk today box but yeah i don't know why i put those column pieces where the stone's gonna go no idea that really bugs me because i don't usually do that i usually only do it for the siding areas but oh well who cares right now i just did another little pop out up on the second floor and that is like the main reason why everything looked weird like the see uh the roof the roof looked weird i had to make it a little bit smaller because it wasn't centered and you guys know me i like my stuff centered very centered i am a very symmetrical type of person i love old farmhouses for that fact they're very symmetrical but yeah um my daughter turned 10 months old yesterday, or it's going to be, she turned 10 months old on the 28th of May. So she has two more months until she's a toddler officially. 
I can't believe that one-year-olds are toddlers. That's crazy to me. Like, where'd my baby go? I legit have baby fever. I'm on birth control. I'm not having another baby for a few more years <laughs> until my daughter is potty trained. But I have baby fever. Like, it hit me all of a sudden last night. And I was like, oh no, she's getting so big. Um, my doctor's appointment today, I found out that I have arthritis in my right ankle along, along with bone spurs and a extra piece of bone just hanging out in there. So that's why I'm always in pain when I get out of work. It's so much fun. Also, my husband and I are hopefully finally going to do a loan application to buy a house. And I hope we get approved. I hope so bad because I... <sighs> I want my own place again. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my in-laws and everything. But, oh, I need my own house and my own kitchen and my own living room and bedroom. And, oh, my God. It'd be so nice. And Hazel needs her own room. And the dogs need a fenced-in yard. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so nice if we get approved. I don't need to say if. When we get approved, it's going to be so nice. When we get approved, you guys, pray for us. <laughs> That's weird coming from me because I'm not the religious type of person. But pray for us. Like, oh, We need all the thoughts and prayers. I've been living with my in-laws since December. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm stressed when I'm not in my own house. And we have a whole bunch of furniture. And I have an antique sewing machine, like, in a desk that I use as my computer desk. And a storage unit right now. So, it could get ruined in there if, like, any water or anything could get in there. Because it is electric. So that just kind of stresses me out a little bit. Um, yeah, now I'm doing the layout for downstairs. This one was kind of difficult because I knew I wanted to have a bedroom downstairs. Oh, if you didn't see, I also put a doggy door in. Or should I say a pet door because cats can use them too. But yeah, now I'm just adding more money. And I also did the layout for upstairs as well. I heard my daughter crawling. She just about crawled off the edge of the bed. You know, some babies are like, um, they're like stupid scared of everything. And then some babies are stupid fearless. My nephew is stupid scared of everything. Like, he's scared of a balloon. He's like, I don't know, 14 days younger than Hazel. But Hazel isn't scared of anything. She's stupid fearless. Like, I think it was last night. I had her in her high chair feeding her dinner. She turns, like, her entire body and somehow manages to weasel her way out of her, like, the tray area. I guess her seat. Yeah, even though the tray was all the way back up against her stomach and everything, there shouldn't have been room for her to weasel on through. But she did. And like I said, she's stupid fearless. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I was trying to do like a good sized kitchen in this house. But it, I kind of base this off like an older refurbished house. If that makes sense. And I think I try to keep everything mainly base game or cats and dogs. I want to say I did, but I don't remember because I have I uh, built this house forever ago. Not even joking. Um, but yeah. I Today is my last day off of work. I've had three days off. Mm, I don't want to go back, but then I have Saturday off. But I guess my in-laws are going kayaking, and so is my husband since... Since he doesn't have to watch our daughter. Sorry, it just had a yawn. I am exhausted today. My daughter keeps waking me up at 5 in the morning. The past two 
I guess mornings, like this morning and yesterday morning, I have not appreciated that. Because she was sleeping until like 7.30, 8, when I work and my husband's watching her, 8.30. Like, go figure, you sleeping for your father. Ugh. It's annoying. <laughs> Will you two stop? Shelby, get in here. I know your sister blocked you in here with her walker, huh? My daughter put her walker in the doorway, so now my boxer mix can't get through. Because she's not smart enough to crawl and go under. Or like jump and go over it. She's dumb. My daughter is playing with a PlayStation controller right now. The controller is dead, so she can't turn it on or anything. But, yeah. Uh, this morning, she watched Coco for, like, the 50 millionth time. That's, like, her favorite movie. And then we are in the process of watching Hotel Transylvania 3. Since we can't get two because um, my mother-in-law doesn't have that setting or something on Hulu. I don't know. But 3 is on Netflix, so we're watching that right now. And I just sized down that... It's like a rag rug, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, you use old t-shirts and rags and stuff. And yeah, crochet them together to make a rug. Yeah, that's what those are. They're rag rugs. But I just sized it down to use it in the kitchen because I saw it went really well. And you see right here that I um, put wood flooring in the bathroom. I do go back and change that because that is stupid. It will warp if it gets wet, if it doesn't have the correct sealant on it. Oh, I'm really into like uh, building and stuff. So I got an interior design. So I kind of know quite a bit of that, about that stuff considering my dad built his house when I was a kid. I was like seven when we were building it. And then I was probably around the same age when we were building my grandma's log cabin. Although that's very rustic. It doesn't have running water. The electricity is gas. Like stuff like that. I mean, it's not meant to live in. It's just meant to stay in to go hunting. Or just to get away from the civilization. But yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. But I still have like 18 minutes. It's gonna be 17 minutes here in a minute. <laughs> in a minute? No, it's gonna be like in three seconds. Um, I really like this wallpaper that has the white paneling and then the white and gray wallpaper. Sorry, if my daughter's trying to get in my mouse. I'm gonna turn it off and give it to her. There you go. Now you can play with it. I don't want her to kill my batteries or even figure out how to take it out. But I was trying to go with this like monochromatic and then with a hint of teal or like greens in that bedroom. I think I did okay. I'm not 100% sure. My dog is, oh, I thought she was going to try to jump over the walker. Oh, she's going under it. Good job. You're so smart. Speaking of um, things in my family being smart, I'm not calling my dog a thing. Or my daughter. But my daughter is very smart too. She can put her, like she spits her binky out to put her bottle in. Like what? She does it all the time. And now I'm just kind of going with like a peach and bluey theme for the living room. Oh, if you saw right there, I created my own coffee table because there wasn't one rustic enough for me because this isn't a modern house. This is a very rustic and family house. So I, of course, put two sofas and a chair with the ottoman, I think that's what it's called, that circle seat in front of it. So it's like a recliner, or not like a recliner, but... Uh, an armchair with a footstool. There we go. Could not think of it. I think I also went and put a back door in the living room as well. If I remember correctly. Now she's banging on the computer. 
Don't bang on the computer. Mommy's recording. You don't want to blow everyone's eardrums out, do you? I wasn't going to put a back door in here, but then again, I went ahead and did it. I'm using that rag rug again in the living room. I think it's the same color and everything, too. Um, if you guys know me, I'm, like, very monochromatic for, like, my builds in general and my rehabs. I don't know why. I also... I thought I liked dark, dark, um, wood. Like, hardwood in the house. So, one moment. My dogs are fighting. Diesel and Shelby. Shelby, come. You need to lay down and leave your brother alone. Alright. But yeah, I got, like, hardwood in houses. I thought that I liked really dark ones. But then I went and started building in The Sims kind of regularly. I could not get these roofs to line up. It was driving me nuts. They were on, like, different... I guess I could have dragged the one out and drag the other one in farther so it'd be kind of on the same angle but now I like white wood not like painted wood but stained wood I hate painted wood never paint wood ever like if it's um like if it's not from lumber I'm sorry if I got caught there my daughter hit a button and I stopped recording but if it's not like lumber wood, then yeah, you can paint it. But if it's from lumber, like logs and then cut down into strips, then don't paint it. Stain it. Keep the natural like look of the wood. You can stain it whatever color you want, I'm pretty sure. Like whatever shade or I don't know. Um, but yeah. Well, if we, or when we do get this house, Lisa, learn how to freaking talk. Stop saying if. When we do get this house, I am going to do a speed build of it. You heard that right. And in the kitchen, they have like bright yellow walls. And the kitchen layout has to be redone. Like the counters and everything eventually need to be ripped up and redone. Because... And you know how I have it on, like, the two outside walls in this house, like the counters? Yeah, they have it on the two inside walls. And I'm, like, utterly confused about it because who does that? You want to be able to open up the walls if you wanted to, which I don't think I'm going to because it was built in 1880. So it wasn't meant to have it opened up, but then again, there's a possibility that it could be opened up. I don't know, and just put like a big island in the middle of the kitchen. <sighs> you guys will see when I come to it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut off here. I don't think I hopped upstairs yet. Oh, here we go. Yep, now I'm upstairs. Which, that doesn't take too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut off right here because my daughter is getting handsy and everything and grabbing crab. So yeah, thank you all for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And yeah, have an awesome, awesome day. Bye!